You're born already starving. You hatch into a world made of skin. There is no ground, no sky, only heat. You don't breathe air, you breathe someone else's blood. And if that blood stops moving, you die with it. You are a louse, a creature that can't survive more than a few hours without another body to feed from. You are dependents, given legs. Before you even dry from the egg, you smell warmth. You crawl toward it blindly, claws clutching strands of hair that sway like forests in a hurricane. You never touch dirt. You never see sunlight. Your entire planet is human skin. Your egg was glued here days ago, cemented to a single hair with natural glue stronger than steel. You were trapped inside it, listening to the heartbeat of your host, feeling their movements through the vibration of the strand. When you finally crack free, the first thing you do is stab the nearest patch of flesh and drink. Blood. Hot, thick, metallic. It floods your body until your gut turns red. That's the first moment of peace you'll ever feel, and it lasts three seconds. Then the skin twitches, your world quakes, the giant above scratches the wound you just made. You scurry for cover. You learn your first rule. Eat fast, hide faster. Your claws are perfect half circles, engineered by evolution to match the diameter of a human hair. On anything else, you'd slip and fall. You can't walk on glass, you can't walk on fur, only on the species you're doomed to haunt. You weigh less than a drop of sweat, but every drop of sweat can drown you. So you hide beneath it, pressing close to the scalp where the air is humid and safe. Each hair is a tree trunk, each follicle a canyon, each bead of sweat a river full of salt and bacteria. It is a universe that would kill anything else, but to you, it's home. You eat five times a day, miss one meal and your insides collapse, miss two and you dry out completely. You are a furnace that never stops burning. Your saliva keeps wounds bleeding so you can drink longer, but that same saliva makes your host itch. It's your signature, your curse. Every bite is a confession. You can't stop feeding and every feeding exposes you. So you live your life in fear of movement above you, the rustle of hair, the drag of a fingernail, the thunder of a shampoo storm. When it comes, you cling. You flatten your body against the skin, trap a tiny bubble of air beneath you and wait for the flood to pass. You can hold your breath longer than anyone expects, but not forever. You feel your siblings ripped away, their legs torn, their shells broken, their bodies swirling down porcelain rivers. When the foam settles, you're still there. And that means you won. For now, you molt three times. Each skin you shed stays glued to the hair, a clear ghost of yourself, tiny corpses shining like dust in the light. Your graveyard follows you everywhere. You grow fast, you breed faster. A week after birth, you lay your own eggs, each glued in perfect rows at the base of hair, a microscopic nursery sealed against every storm. The host thinks they killed you. They didn't. Your children are waiting to hatch. Hundreds, thousands, each one identical, each one born starving. When they wake, they climb toward the smell of carbon dioxide and warmth, the scent of life. They stab, they drink, they grow. Your colony becomes a civilization. Dozens feed side by side, never speaking, never stopping. You smell each other through chemical trails, an invisible map across the scalp. You live in perfect silence, a hidden city powered by blood. And humans hate you for it. They panic at your existence. They burn fabrics, boil water, pour poison into their own hair just to erase you. They scratch until they bleed. They call you disgusting. They call you infestation. But you didn't choose this. Evolution did. You're older than they are. Your ancestors clung to theirs before their ancestors even had clothes. You've survived ice ages, droughts, plagues. Every time humans built warmth and comfort, you were there to take it. When people huddled around fires, you thrived in the shadows of their heat. When they invented beds, you found paradise. When they invented schools, you found superhighways. 
Their progress is your ecosystem. Their closeness is your oxygen. You are proof that even civilization bleeds. You outlast every attempt to kill you. New shampoos, new chemicals, new combs. You adapt within months. Scientists call you super lice. You just call it survival. You've learned to detoxify their poisons. Your enzymes chew through their insecticides like sugar. Your DNA changes faster than their research. You are evolution in fast forward, a machine built to outlast extinction. But even you can feel the end coming. Hot water, synthetic fibers, plastic fibers that never hold warmth, hygiene that scrubs entire worlds away. Modern life is sterile and you are starving in it. You survive in cracks, in crowded shelters, in disaster zones, in schools where hair touches hair. Anywhere people forget to be perfect, you are the punishment for closeness. You are the ghost of touch. Every hug, every whisper, every shared pillow is another chance for you to be reborn. You never see the sun, you never see your host's face, but you know their heartbeat better than anyone. You feel every pulse, every breath, every fever. When they get sick, you drink their pain. You live 30 days, maybe 40 if they forget to wash. That's your eternity. Then you dry up, a flake, a whisper, a speck brushed away without a thought. But your eggs remain. You never die alone. You leave behind the next generation, glued tight, waiting for warmth. The moment skin touches hair again, you rise. That's the real horror of being lice. You can't die completely. You can't live freely. You are trapped between immortality and extinction, forever dependent, forever hunted. You exist only because humans do, and they exist cleaner because of you. You are evolution's cruel joke, a creature designed perfectly for a life no one wants. So, why does it suck to be born as lice? Because you never get to stop feeding. Because your whole universe can be washed down a drain. Because you are built to survive, but cursed to hide. Because the closer humans get, the faster they kill you. You are the itch beneath civilization's skin. The reminder that no matter how advanced they become, they are still animals. Still warm. Still bleeding. Still yours. Thank you for watching. If this made your skin crawl, hit subscribe, drop a like, and stay tuned for more shocking truths about the creatures that live because we do.